day four? Or day what? Are we going to play all the events of Seattle up until that moment? Or is it still going to be cinematics? I don't know. Oh. Easy. This is okay, just yeah. God tier yeah, just... writing, dude. And the way they're telling it. What's up? Been searching everywhere for you. Abby is being called yoked, up. man. She has so friend. much muscle. What? Are you serious? I'm afraid so. Are we gonna meet Isaac? We're leaving now. <laughs> yes. I'm on us. Okay. <sighs> Fuck my neck. <sighs> Hey, thanks for giving me the room last night. Yeah, it, who was it this time? That cook chick? Nah, the weather chick. She's down from the mountain. Oh, the scientist. Nice. Nah, she's a little too excited about her job. Talked my ear off about some storm and... I don't know. Worth it, though? Oh, absolutely. The storm that we were you. just seeing? <laughs> you should. You're never gonna do better than her. <laughs> I keep thinking the same thing. And yet, here we are. All oh, these people, I'm sure Ellie and Tommy have eliminated by now. But it is insane that Abby's and Ellie's situations are so similar. It really was just a father's life for a father figure's life. Almost an even trade. They had to have had all of this story, or at least most of this story, planned out from the first game though, right? Because it fits too flawlessly together. If they didn't, that's just incredible writing from that team. They are extremely Hello, smart. Hello, Maddie. Her too. A gentleman never tells. Wow. Dang, so their colony here is thriving almost even more than back in Jackson. But obviously we've learned of the atrocities the wolves have committed. Infection check, toy cleanup, piano recital, toy cleanup. <laughs> it probably does get very messy in there. Early release Friday. Let's go. See if there's any names I recognize. Doesn't look like it. I don't think so. I thought maybe there'd be a name of like... That was similar to a note or something like that. There's nothing over here. I, oh wow, there's a lot of names. But I doubt that I'm going to recognize any. Still like appreciating all the little design though in the game. I gotta talk to my dad for a second. Grab us some food? Yeah, on it. Get me something con picante. You get what you get. It's crazy that after torturing and murdering Joel that they're acting so natural though. Like, Abby is dealing with this so much better than Ellie has been. Although, she's had a lot of years in between. What if I could jump over this? No. <laughs> Don't want to cause a scene. A scar is on his knees, right? He's praying. I go to tie him up and bring him in. And suddenly this fucker gets a knife on me. Fuck. I jump back and just blast him. His whole face came off. Good. Wasn't that the stupid gurgles from another five minutes? Ah. What? He brought it on himself. Dang, these guys are messed up. Talking about all their kills nice like prizes. Too, Abby. Uh, still got that glorious scar on his face. Oh shit, Jordan. I didn't see you there. You coming with us to the Sheravina? Uh, Manny and I just got called up to the fob. 
What are you doing at the Saravena? Hotel and the school are getting evacuated. We're grabbing supplies and bringing everyone back to the base. Seriously? Man, can you fucking believe after everything we're falling back? You don't know that's what it is. At least Leah might be home from the TV station sooner. Well, there is that, yeah. That's your run. May your survival be long. And may your death be swift. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, we already know one part of that statement was false. Like looking around here, though, actually getting to see their camp when you're not getting attacked. A lot. Hmm. What do you use? Like a machine, or do you do it manually? What machine? All by hand. I see. I want to listen to all these little conversations. Uh, I won't delay this one. What are they serving today? Burritos. Again. Delicious. Okay. Abby, what are you doing? Hey, tenemos prisa. Dame tres burritos. Hey, man, there's a line. Vinny, what the fuck? Excuse me. Wait your turn like the rest of Sorry. us. We're going to the front. Come on. <sighs> so embarrassing. Why do you have three? Pull one back. Now, don't freak out. Mel's coming with us. Manny? Where's your pack? In the room? Why are you doing this to me? Because I care about both of you. And I'm tired of all the bullshit. Does she know I'm on this drive? She does. And she's cool with it? Yeah. <laughs> Why does your yeah sound like a no? <laughs> it's my accent. Come on, stop being paranoid. They believe if they kill all of the sinners, the world will go back to the way it was. Like a reset. They can't actually think that, though. I mean, they know there are hundreds of thousands of sinners outside the QZ, right? Who the hell knows what those primitive fucks think? I bet they believe the Earth ends at the wall, like it's the edge of a cliff or something. Fucking idiots. Why couldn't they settle in another city? Now, this is all so great. I want to go back here and make Hi. sure I didn't miss anything. We should check in on the I hear she's been having a hard time. No parent should have to bury their kid. Kids. Yeah. Maybe we invite her to services next week. She's an atheist. It's something to do. Maybe she'll get something out of it. Come so the on. scars. Let it out. Oh. Uh, yeah, there we go. Tiny baby. She's been hanging out with him a lot while I'm on rotation. He loves you. I wouldn't read into it. Yeah. Come on. Fuck up. And if something's going on, we'll fuck him up for you. Okay, it feels like these are a bit more mundane, so we'll go ahead and go catch you up with Manny. For Isaac. Just want to take in all I can of the wolves in their natural habitat. But then again... That guy just said he's not into superheroes. He would hate 2020... 2022 then. Okay, just making sure there's nothing... Oh, there is something. Hey, got any of those bars of soap that I like? The fine ones? <sighs> Sorry, Abby. Heard the section next door is getting a new haul in. Might check there tomorrow. Bummer. Thanks anyway. Interesting. At least Appy likes to stay clean. What we got on here, though? Anything interesting? Oh no! Missing teddy bear. Adopt a kitten. Well, I guess the wolves can't be all that bad then. I'm mainly trying to see if I see Emmett's name on here. Although, I guess he was with the uh, Scars by now, huh? I think you get a kick out of making me uncomfortable. No. It's an opportunity for you two to finally move forward. We've barely said a word to each other since Jackson. I'm just supposed to pretend that didn't happen? Of course not. You guys need to talk about it. She wanted Joel dead as much as the rest of us. 
but she's not like the rest of us. She hasn't hurt people like that before. She, she kills scars all the time. Not the way we kill Joe. Don't forget, we are grunts. She's a medic. Come on, Abby. She's family. Do it for me, okay? I'll try. That's all I'm asking for. That makes it extra sad that Mel got killed by Ellie there because it seems like she did she didn't really want any part of it. Man, are we really about to meet Isaac? I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Get your things ready. I'm gonna grab Mel. Yeah. Be nice. Bite me. Wow, man, what a setup here. That's incredible. Scientist, huh? huh. Man, they have just flourished in the apocalypse. Page no katana. I love all the movie posters and stuff we get in this. Um, doesn't seem like we can look at anything else up there. Oh, she brought back the picture from his office. What a great touch. At least I assume it's the same one, unless she found an exact replica somewhere else. Ready to roll? Yeah, just about. Hi. Hey. I actually cleared you for active duty. Barely. You could probably get a stay if you ask. I'd rather not sit around if I don't have to. No one's okay with this? Why would it be up to Owen? We need to grab Alice on our way. Hey. Do better. So crazy how different all of this feels now that we're playing from her perspective. Oh, a picture of her dad as well. Well, I feel like Abby and Ellie share a lot of similarities, not just with both of their fathers or father figures dying, but in the way they've handled the situations. This is unreal. No wonder the wolves what took over everything. It's just the usual rotation, don't worry. Hey, uh, when you get back, will you check on my dad? He seems, uh, I don't know, worse. Worse how? Well, he's complaining about a sharp pain in his wrist. He can barely hold a spoon. Maybe we can get him some more painkillers. Heard they moved you and Owen to Section 96? Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's lots of young families. Getting you guys excited about the baby. Seeing all the kids running around, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. <laughs> All those crying babies. Let's drive Owen crazy. He hasn't even seen it yet. He's out on rotation with Danny. Danny? Yikes. Sucks for him. Yeah. Seems like Mel and Owen had plenty of problems. Now that the dialogue stopped, I kind of just want to roam around here for a second. This is unbelievable what they've put together. But it's interesting hearing stuff like that, Manny talking about his dad struggling and everything like that, because for a majority of it, besides Abby at least, and besides knowing Mel's pregnant, we really just thought as the wolves thought of the wolves as just these evil one-dimensional enemies. But now seeing their camp and hearing them talk about stuff like that, there's a lot more to them. Definitely some similarities to the camp at Jackson, but. I feel like there's still a bit more darkness here, at least I would feel like, especially reading all the notes with Isaac. He seems like a terrible person, but you also have them, the wolves, just shooting everybody on sight. 
which Jackson didn't do. Setting out else? She's playing inside. Great. Abby, you want to grab her? Alice is a dog. <laughs> okay. Wait, is Alice the dog that Ellie killed? Hey, girl. Hey, <laughs> you crazy dog. There's my favorite girl. The only one that'll put up with your shit. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Hey, Alf. You want to go to the trucks? Oh, the they're trucks. giving backstory to one of the dogs we killed. That's so sad. Oh, hey there, Bear. Oh, unless Bear is the one. I don't know. But that's so sad. Yeah, okay, since you asked so nicely. Go for Get it. Get the ball. Oh, <laughs> cute. Best part of the game. Oh, I was hoping I didn't throw it too far for him. That's a good boy. Can I pet you? I think I could. Who's the best boy? Yeah. Oh, it's a cute puppy. At least they seem to treat their dogs well, although if they're using them to hunt people, then it's not the best. Go get it. Feel bad leaving him hanging, but I had to leave eventually, otherwise I'd be there all day. Yes, you did. You dirty dog. What's she doing in town? Something for Isaac. Man, that's gotta be a lonely job. She really likes it. Ask her about the cumulus clouds. <laughs> well, I guess you get to stay away from the combat. Yeah, if that's what you're into. I'd be happy staying put, I think. Just treating families. You'd miss fucking up scars. I don't think so. I'd go crazy. I wonder how many people actually bother kicking the soccer ball around. Abby's a regular messy. Gotta, gotta get a goal. Never mind. It's kind of stopped kicking. I was listening to the dialogue hey, as well. Abby. Hey, Abby. Uh. Man, well, if the wolves aren't actively killing people we care about, they don't seem that evil, but I think it's just because they're dealing with each other. Hey, Pat. Can I have my usual? You got it. Gracias. Which trucks are in? Take S24. I'm driving. Sign us out. Thanks. May your survival be long. May your death be swift. And I guess that also explains why we kept seeing that written down in notes and everything. That's just their kind of catchphrase. They are so well run here. My goodness. What a gun we have right here. This is new. Down for some friendly competition? The loser cleans the apartment. Mm, high stakes. Best score on a full magazine? You're on, cabron. I better win. We just go ahead. He's going for the heart. I'm going for the head. Should I be going for the heart? I feel like the head's just as good, right? Oh, I think I'm going to win. Beat him by seven. I'm requesting that gun next time. Yeah, the gun's why I won. Oh, that reminds me. There is a huge pile of dirty dishes. <laughs> You're cruel. <laughs> One Ooh, fair you and square. My laundry too. Feels so conflicting. Hey, sharpshooter! I bet that's because I won. Would be interesting to see how the dialogue differs if you lose. Let's get to the base. More ammo if you two need it. I was gonna say though, it feels kind of conflicting playing as Abby after everything. 
Even though she's not doing anything bad right now. And especially after seeing her backstory. Oh, I missed you too. What was that? Vermont. Oh. Still keeping track of the coins. Another similarity with Ellie. She likes to collect things, which reminds me. I want to check the journal. Okay, it's just the coins that we got. Let me look over here, now that I know we can collect things. Hope I didn't miss anything. I probably did. Because there's so much to explore. Alice, get shotgun. Mel's pregnant. She could use the fresh air. Give you two a chance to talk. Mel, settle away. Nothing wrong with a good girl getting a good seat. Gracias. I love the way you can angle the camera and stuff Maybe during cutscenes as well. Not great. Do you want me to get you something from the pharmacy? Nah, I'm, I'm good. It's not a big deal. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just gonna wear myself out. I've been picking up a few extra assignments. You and the one. What do you mean? Nothing. Oh, afraid of it sparking back up between them. But that is interesting. I guess Abby's just hiding it well that it's not affecting her. Two. Truck S24 headed to two. Maybe survive will be long. May your dead be sweet. Really lost a hatchery. Yeah. Any plan on getting it back? What a facility. Now Isaac says it's low priority. We're fishing up wild salmon right now. What did you mean about me and Owen? Um, I haven't seen him in like two weeks. He keeps picking up open assignments. Did he talk to you? Did, did he say anything? Or... No, we're still not. I mean, I've seen him in the mess hall, but we walk around each other. Jackson shook me. You know, I wouldn't read too much into it. Oh, the scars. No, stay low. Turn the walls. They were waiting for us. Don't even get a chance yeah. to talk. Take them out. The fuck you think we're doing? Get closer! Get us out of this! I'm trying! This is amazing. Go! Get around him! He's coming! Adrenaline rush. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fucking scars. I hope How that didn't happen because I was missing some shots. We're too exposed. Let's get inside. So scars, I guess, are just enemy number one because they literally kill everybody. Wolves and Ellie and her friends. Let's make sure this place is secure. That was just as exciting as the segment with Ellie and Jesse before. And it always comes when you least expect it. Yeah, it's, it's a 
enough stuff here to make a pie bomb. Copy that. Maybe we should have taken our chances outside. Nah. We got this. I feel like we're definitely gonna see an infected. But I love all the additional weight and backstory they're giving to some of these characters like Owen and Mel because we saw them arguing there at the end and Owen was kind of wanting to go after Abby and saying that Mel could leave and everything like that and we're seeing hints of it here that maybe Owen and Abby were starting to kind of feel a connection more so than Owen and Mel since they'd obviously liked each other before which is just devastating for Mel. She seems to just be caught up in it a lot. Lots of places to hide in here. Guys, I got company. Infected. I don't want to miss any coins now that there's a prospect of having those, but I doubt they'd be in here. Well, it seems like they're regular infected, so I think we'd be able to stealth kill them. Just want to double check. Yeah, nothing there. I don't want to work my way around, though. This one should be an easy kill. Gotta move a little slow, though. Just as effective as Ellie. Snapped his neck, holy. Should be able to stealth kill this one. Yep. Night, night. Is there only the one more? I think there might be two. Good thing they have no peripheral vision. We clear? Nothing wrong with anime. I'd much rather do that. Watch anime than fight for my life. Oh, we have the dog there too. What a good what a good girl. Didn't make any noise. I was clicking Guys, the wrong one. Look up there. See the light coming through? Could be a way out. Let's see, I'll got up that. And check it out. Oh, was that? Oh no, it's just the door. We feel like we gotta get around here, maybe. No, never mind. Because there's no way we can, like, jump across these, right? And there's no way we can crawl under that. I wonder if. No, there's nothing up in there. I don't really see any way to crawl across that. You, oh, here we go. I feel like it's just going to take us a long roundabout way. We can make something. Oh, a pipe bomb, yep. That would be kind of cool. Haven't got those before. May they upgrade just the usual. Okay, can I like... Oh, I can just... Here we go. Quite the maze here.
That's how we get across, okay. We can upgrade Abby? Interesting, how long are we gonna be playing as her? I feel like maybe a while, we're still on day one. It's very unexpected, but also devastating that it may be forever before we finally get back to Abby and Ellie confronting each other. Although I feel like with the way this is going and has already gone, it's going to be very necessary for the moments to hit just as hard. Or hit harder, I mean. Yeah, I think I just have to jump. Please tell me I can, like, pull my gun out. Oh, what a good dog. Now I like having the dogs on their, on our side. I almost accidentally aimed at the dog out of instinct. Hold up. Run. I realize I should have thrown that a bit farther, but it still works. An effective crew here. Everybody good? Yeah. Running low now, Modo. Can we say fuck this place? Yes. Fuck this place. We're getting out of here. And it's weird seeing all of them as more human, like Ellie and everybody else in this context and not just as evil enemies. I guess I can pick that up. Just want to make sure there's no ammo being left. Which doesn't look like there is. Oh, there is something though. Just browse quickly. Doesn't seem like there's much to be had. This area is so wide open. Thought maybe I'd find a secret coin there. No luck. Truly, there's no more infected. I feel like we'd hear him. Getting close to the exit, I feel like. Yeah, nothing. Hey guys, I think I found a way out. Well, there's something. Could use that if I was Ellie to make some arrows. Makes sense you'd find tools in a place like this. Manny. You got it. <gasps> Ladies first. Another month and I wouldn't fit through here. Go ahead, Apps. He said ladies first. I like you. Nice, got him. It's the same sarcasm as Ellie. And while this okay. is definitely... Abby, this reminds me of your dad's greenhouse. Shouldn't. All these plants are alive. <laughs> good point. You know what? This is good. You two needed a bonding moment. Shut, Shut up, up, Manny. <laughs> Working already. Tell me when to take the shot. <laughs> but I was going to say, while this has definitely painted characters like Abby or Owen and Mel in a bit of a different light, I feel like I still am not warming up at all to Manny because isn't he the one who wanted to kill Ellie straight off the bat after they killed Joel? 
I mean, logically, it clearly would have been the smart move for him since Ellie has come wreaking havoc on everybody else, but... Ellie is definitely priority number one, so anyone who wants to kill her, I'm not a fan of. Find another one? Yep. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I know a good drinking game you can play with those. Maybe later. it doesn't seem like the scars were able to follow us in here thankfully they're so terrifying though because they can just overwhelm you in a matter of seconds when you hear that whistling it's time to run or it's probably already too late um, let's see, where do I need to go next? Probably over here, right? Or do we have to climb our way out? Oh, right here. Oh, good thing I found that. <coughs> Looks like a bit of a fighting area. Bob said ahead. No scars in sight. Well, they're out there. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Pass through this area without getting jumped by scars. Getting nostalgic about the truce? Easier days, huh? Too easy. We let our guard down, and they strung up an entire squad. That was in retaliation to us shooting those kids. Okay, but those kids attacked our guys. What would you do? I don't know, not riddle them with bullets? I'd rather save our people. Many, they're kids. It's not their fault. Not our fault either. Those deaths are on them. Okay. Not to jinx us, but it is very quiet out of here. Keep checking those sight lines. I wonder if one of those kids happens to be our archer's friend's kid. Had a daughter, right? I wouldn't be surprised. That would be insane. Be on the other side of this fence. Cut through one of the buildings. Because <sighs> that worked out so well last time. Do you have another idea, maybe? Nope. Just venting. Here are lots of gunshots, which is never good, but that would be insane if that little part of the story with all those notes eventually tying us into getting the bow ended up being the catalyst for their truce to be broken. It could be an unrelated event, though. Shit. Something's blocking the door. Maybe there's another way in. Although, I guess his daughter dying was just related to graffitiing the wolves, and the wolves killed her. And then he retaliated against him, so I actually don't think that's related. But now, let's focus back on getting through this. Or getting into this. Maybe we don't go in there at all. Oh, give me the icon for a second. Let's see. Oh, that helped me out big time. Up here. Manny, see what's up there. On it. <laughs> Gotta have such strength to be able to pull yourself up like that. I could shoot him and no one would know. Cable's besides Mel. There you go. Come on up. Mel, stay with Alice. 
I'll try to get that door open. Find you two another way in. Cool. Be careful. Go conflicted trying to be careful with Abby and everyone else. Well? Still no sign of scars. Maybe they gave up? You're funny. <laughs> no. I'm optimistic. Oh. Long way down. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I was gonna say this probably makes more sense to use this. There you go. I wonder if it would even let me drop down. <laughs> Without the rope, I mean. Okay, Mel. We're in. I'm at the door. <sighs> Abby is so strong. Holy. Okay, come on. Quick. Jeez. Yeah, sure. They're making up with each other a little bit. Well, it is giving us a lot of pills early on, so maybe we won't actually be with Abby for that long. Whoa. Check it out. Some kind of boat will jump. That's another place. Are we witnessing the origins of them creating the boats? The one that Ellie stole? Let me see if I can... Nope, not yet. But maybe I can not upgrade a pipe bomb. Or craft, I mean. of good stuff in this place. Oh, and a workbench? We've been getting a lot of tools, so I think we can definitely craft something. want to loot the rest of this first, just so I don't miss anything. I should craft something, though. I can't craft anything, actually. I'll just upgrade this for the heck of it. Pipe bombs are cool, though. Nothing better than a pipe bomb in Left 4 Dead, though. Okay, I already got all this, then. But I think I should check up here as well, because I think the door that I could open over there is probably the main way out. The body? Supplies for days. Maybe there's no way to get in that door. I don't know. Doesn't seem like there's any way to scale this. Can't do anything. Maybe it's just a locked door. Don't really run across those too often. But... Can't really make anything else, but I can probably upgrade this. And then it's time to upgrade some weapons. We already have a pistol with Ellie, so I definitely want to. Took me fishing on a boat like this. I got seasick every time. <laughs> I hated it. Any, don't ever get pregnant. <laughs> Doing my best. I was gonna say, we already have a pistol with Ellie. This is a new gun, so I definitely want to upgrade this. Love how they show off stuff like that, though, for it. Okay, it doesn't seem like we have enough for anything else. Okay. 
A lot bigger than the doors that Ellie has had to open. I'll hold it here. Go. I'll brace it with something. Ah! Sorry. You do okay? Yeah. Crank broke. Almost sliced yeah. somebody or the dog in half. Hey, look. A hatch. Manny, just hang tight. We're gonna find a way up to the roof. Okay. Maybe we so, can get in that door. Glad you hitched a ride with us. Right. Remind me to thank Manny for that one. I am glad I'm here with you guys. I hate to hear you got in trouble and I couldn't help. Hey, why have you been avoiding me? I wasn't avoiding you. Come on, you've barely said anything to me since Jackson. I don't know. I, I guess I was shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I think he deserved worse. I just... I just wish I didn't take part in it. I get it. What kind of a person could do that, right? I'm not saying that. Let's see if there's a way to the hatch. All right. Dang, well that conversation could have gone better, but... Wild that everybody... Hey Mel, let me boost you up here. See if there's something in that room. Thought the absolute worst of Joel. Here we go. Got it. He definitely made a mistake, and maybe it takes seeing other people's perspectives of Anything? Joel's actions. Um, one sec. To really understand the gravity of that decision and everything he did. What are you doing? Getting us out of here? Okay, just go slow. One advantage of being pregnant. Low center of gravity. I'll take your word for it. Because when we play from Joel's perspective mainly, or even from Ellie's, Made it. and Joel does something like that, we can see the negative aspects of it, but I think a majority of the time we're just thinking. Come on up. Thank you. Oh, that's what it was. We're just thinking, or at least trying to side with Joel a little bit. Especially when it comes to saving Ellie's life. Okay, getting closer to the hatch. Excuse me, Mo. Oh, I thought we were going to place hey. it on the ground. Smart. Is she coming across? Didn't want to pick it up before she had the chance. Reminds me a little of Owen's boat. Wait, let me... Oh! I meant to press triangle for the conversation. Dang it, what? That's unfortunate. I can't believe it's still not letting me do the conversation there. Hopefully it wasn't anything too major. Dang, that's a bummer. Where am I even supposed to put this? There's a catwalk running to the hatch. But how do we get to the catwalk? Maybe I don't even need this. Can I drop it? I can't really place it anywhere, can I? Okay. Okay. What is going on here? Okay, I guess I can just put it here. Man, I'm still bummed that we missed a... Okay. Dialogue bit. I've been wanting to read something like this. Oh, training manuals. Interesting. Can't really do anything else with it. Overt hops. Getting all sorts of good stuff with Abby. Let's see what that stuff is. Oh, shivs are actually still involved in the game. I thought we really had abandoned them. Some good stuff, though. That grabbed enemy movement speed definitely looks interesting. Hmm. 
where do I do I just jump down onto that? Or do I pick it back up? I think I just drop. <laughs> I do not just drop. My goodness. That was not what I thought was going to happen. If we can't jump down there, then I really don't understand what we're supposed to do. Oh, I just noticed this. So we're just supposed to... Wait, I thought... Can I, like, throw it over there? Okay. That makes it better. I thought surely this is the way we're supposed to go. Can I... Hold on to it? Oh, I didn't grab this stuff. After I reset. This will come in handy. Definitely didn't want to miss out on this again. Okay, I now this is the first time I need a hint. I got that rope here. Oh, am I supposed to throw it over that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Okay, that's promising. Took me way too long to figure that out. Got there eventually though. Is Mel gonna get up this too? Holy long way down vertigo hitting you hard <sighs> especially when I look down she's like superwoman doing all this while she's pregnant <clears throat> there they are Manny be right down okay look Bob sweet Bob almost there Bet we can cut through that rail yard. You want to get off the roof first? <laughs> Please. It's kind of hard to imagine you being afraid of anything. I'm not as fearless as you think. Please. Like, I, I could never do the surgery stuff you do. Be too freaked out about fucking it up. You think I don't feel the same way? Well, for what it's worth, my dad always said you were his best student. So much history there. Wow. I guess there's nothing left of her father's memory now that Mel's did. I wonder where Abby was during all of that, both Owen and Mel getting killed. About time you two caught up. I assume that's how she found her, though. Been quiet out here? Yeah. I don't like it. Oh, well, we're almost to the fob. Man, when we get back home, I'm gonna find a couch, watch a movie, and drink until I pass out. Now I will do oh, yeah? this one. Which drink? Which movie? <laughs> Strong questions. Movie's the one with... Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Uh, the girl who rides the wolf. Oh, I love that one. And drink. My mezcal from the party last week. Excuse me? You mean our mezcal? Uh, say, say, say. I'll save some for you. Oh, I could definitely go for a drink right now. If I wasn't so pregnant. And on the run. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard of the movie he mentioned before. Figures. Always a locked door. Can I get in? Maybe right here? I got another coin. Indiana. What year? 2002 or 1816. Obviously, 2002. 1816 is just showing what was there then. Gonna make us break with a bottle? I think so. Hopefully it gives us a spare one. I'm full.
Got a note. It was worth it. Mardo, with the truce dead, it's too risky to keep using this place for meetups. Scars are going to be swarming all over this area like roaches. Seen that firsthand. I went ahead and cleaned out my supplies already, but I left all your guns in the lockup case in case you need them when you arrive. Figure the scars won't touch them since the safe is too old world for them, dumb freaks. See you soon. Be careful, Paul. P.S. Still using the big win as the combination. Okay, gotta do some detective work here. Assume it's like a Super Bowl or something. So nothing really there. Oh, that's probably it right there. 8, 15, 12, I would assume. I'll try and remember that. 8, 15, 12. Where would the safe be, though? Probably in the building we're about to go into. There's a lot of areas to explore, though. But it doesn't look like we can even get anywhere over here. There's some supplies. Oh, dang it. Anything good? Yeah, there might be a gun cache around here. I like the sound of that. Should have known it'd be locked. Here we go. There's a whole lot of gunfire. Too much scars and wolves fighting. Nice. I hope it's the correct thing. Okay, let's hope for the best. That's wrong. 08, 15, 2012. I mean, maybe I just put 20 instead of 12? Not sure what else it would be, but let's try that. What if they are across the pond, as they say? Nope, that didn't work either. Two hours later. <laughs> it actually worked. Okay. I don't know how it worked. We got the golden gun. But I'd seen some people saying that you can crack some of the safes just by going through the numbers and seeing which ones sound different. And so... That's just what I did for this one because I tried every sort of combination with that date. And the number that came out was not a date. So maybe this is a different I save. Like all of this. But that technique worked this time, so. And we got a gun out of it, so I'm glad. But I think completed a good amount for this sitting and I cannot wait to get back into it and hopefully see the aftermath of what is happening with Abby and Ellie. Although still not sure how long this Abby flashback segment is going to be. But hopefully you've enjoyed watching along with me for this part of the playthrough. There were so many major things that happened with this. Obviously some of the biggest things being Jesse dying which was devastating. And of course, it happening so fast in tandem with Abby finally being revealed again. It was just almost too much to handle, but been loving it so much. And so look forward to seeing you all for the next one next time. And until then, peace.